Pluto, discovered in 1930s, thought to be the ninth planet, but after deciding that it was too small to be considered a planet, one-sixth of the Earth's size, with a surface just slightly smaller than Russia, it was officially given the title of a dwarf planet in 2006. Laying at a distance from Sun 50 times greater than the Earth's from Sun, when arriving at the planet we would need special suits to protect us from hostile temperatures that are minus 230 Celsius on average. Quickly, we would notice that the gravity is much lower than Earth's, 16 times lower. Realizing that, if you were 70 kilograms inert, you would weigh about 4 kilograms in Pluto. Pressure would be almost non-existent. Pressure is about 100,000 times weaker than Earth. Looking at a distance, we would see icy mountains, frozen nitrogen ice, going up to 3,500 meters. No oxygen is present, only nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. Its atmosphere is extremely thin, but it surprisingly still exists, even though it has a lower gravity than Moon. Looking up at the sky, we would see almost bluish skies with a blue atmospheric haze. A great view of the Pluto's moon Charon would also be present. Distance between them is extremely small of about 19,000 kilometers. Basically a distance from one side of South America to the last side of North America. So Charon would be the dominating object in the sky even if it is a very small moon. Other moon asteroids orbiting Pluto would also be visible. Landing could be slippery as the surface on Pluto is staggeringly 98% nitrogen ice. Depending on a landing site, it would have color would wear a different shades of red. If for some reason we would decide to dig into Pluto, we would find large portions of water ice. Because of nitrogen ice, building something on Pluto would not be possible. So generally, Landing on Pluto with a human crew is most likely not a scenario that will happen. Not only because it is 7.5 billion kilometers away from Earth, but because there are much more closer, interesting and more alive planets such as Mars and Venus and even more moons that are bigger than Pluto and are more exotic such as Europa that could possibly have life, Titan with methane rains and big liquid lakes. They are all at least 7 times closer than Pluto. Light itself takes 4.5 hours to reach Pluto. With the current technology, spacecrafts would take about 16 years. Yeah, a very decent number. So, Pluto is not a dead planet, somewhat interesting, but overall, currently, not worth investing time into.